Hello students, welcome to online classes. Today I'm going to continue with chapter 2. I'm going to discuss about change of state of matter and kinetic theory of matter. Now, let us start with change of state. Change of state means matter can be changed from one form to another form. State means form. Means solid on heating can be changed to liquid and on further heating it changes to gas. Similarly, if we cool gas, it changes to liquid and on further cooling, liquid changes to solid. Now, let us know what happens when we heat solid. We know that in solids, the molecules are closely packed and so the space between the molecules that is called the intermolecular space is less and the force is more. So, when we heat a solid, heat weakens the existing force and separate the molecules. As a result, what happens? The intermolecular spaces increase and solid changes to liquid. When more heat is provided to liquid, the molecules get separated. It means that the intermolecular spaces increases to a large ex it to a large extent and then the liquid changes to gases state now the next topic is kinetic theory of matter kinetic means moving it comes from a greek word called moving now the idea that all substances contain very small moving particle is called the kinetic theory of matter. There are some postulates of kinetic theory. So let us know the main points of kinetic theory of matter. First, all matter is made up of tiny. Tiny means small, invisible means that we cannot see with our naked eyes moving particles and these particles are atoms molecules and ions now particles of different substances have different sizes <clears throat> small particles move faster than the larger particles at the same temperature next as the temperature rises, the particles will possess energy and move around faster. In solids, since the intermolecular space is negligible, the particles vibrate about fixed positions. In liquid, the particles roll around each other. And in gases, the particles move very fast and randomly in all the space they can find because the intermolecular space is very large. Now here we end with the main points of the kinetic theory. Next we have a, an activity to show that gaps are present between the water molecules. So in this what is the method how we are going to do this experiment you can try at home. We, can, uh, we will take a glass filled with water up to the brim. Brim means up to the top. And then what we are going to do? We will add powdered sugar in the glass. Then what we are going to observe? That water will not flow out of the glass. What does it mean? Sugar dissolves on stirring. Stirring means mixing. And sugar particle mixes with the water particles. This shows that... Gaps are present between the water molecules and sugar molecules have entered these spaces. So from this experiment, we conclude that there are gaps are present between the water molecules. You can try this at home. Now, another activity is to show that gas molecules diffuse means move freely in all direction easily what is the method you might be having a perfume bottle at home so what you're going to do apply perfume apply perfume on your body 
or even you can spray it in the air. What will you observe? You will observe that the fragrance or the smell of perfume spreads all over the room. Even the person outside the room can smell the fragrance. So this shows that molecules of perfume spread all over the room and so we are able to smell it. So what do we conclude from this? We conclude that gas molecules diffuse easily and thus can move freely in all directions. So this activity is also very easy. I think you can try at home. Here I end this session. There are some questions for you. Kindly do it in your copy. Thank you.